So here we are, May 5th. Good sunrise coming up. Cinco de Mayo on the bio. Got some birds feeding. We'll see if there's any fish under them. All right, first fish in the boat. There's a rag on top of the console. Speckled trout on a ripping slash. Huh. Unfair lure, ripping slash, huh? You slow twitching it? Twitches, balls, twitch, balls, reel in, twitch, 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 ball. They might like that rattle. I'm getting a lot of hits. I think they're short striking the fire tiger. So in a little little pocket here, a lot of shrimp popping. Oh man, dude, that's Might need to go to a smaller bait. Oh yeah, look, I just, I, I see him come up and hitting a lot of little school trout. Might be some big ones under him. Ooh. Looks a small one, huh? It's a male. Oh, look, he just puked up a shrimp. <laughs> Tell you what, if we were trawling today, this would be a good spot. A lot of nice little brown shrimp. Oh, he makes 12. So used to them big fish at uh, the legal one don't look too big. Catch another one and then measure him. <laughs> That's a keeper. Get ahead of the boat. This might be a little one. Oh. There was a little get off on his own one. What, oh man, that's a big one there. Chasing that shrimp, you saw that? I mean, a nice one. You know what today would be a good day to do? Throw one of them uh, voodoo shrimp on. That sounds like a good one. I might do that. You don't have one handy, do you? I got one. I don't got a voodoo shrimp. That's what I meant, not a voodoo, an unfair shrimp. It looks like a, well, that's going to be a iffy. Shoot, dude, these are nice trout. Ruined my fire tiger. Oh yeah, 13. Something's in them. Might be a little trout, but yeah, like this guy, a little dink. Over the over the side, over the side. I don't want you in the boat. Boy, he tangled me up. How they do that? That's definitely a little one. <clears throat> 
come on. Out to sea you go. Grow up and become big. This might be a keeper. He hit that shrimp. Oh, yes. That's the way to do it. Calm down, I'm gonna put you in the death chest. Well, you saw that? They're hitting it like a topwater bait. Yeah, I'm getting hits constantly. They just not take them. There you go. It must be back over here because I'm getting good, good taps now on this. You know what you do? Bite about a half inch of the head off and put it back on the hook. Shorten it up. That's like... I don't know, he's gonna be close, huh? Yeah, that one might be small. You know what'd be fun in here is a double beetle rig. And I left my, uh, I had a rod rigged up like that. I left it in the rack. On the wobble right, dude. Nice one, too. <laughs> Look at that one. Trying to get these big reds I saw up in here. Beautiful trout. That's a 14 inch one, dude. Giant red tailing. Over here. There he is, right there. Get the grass off my lure. It's right around in here somewhere. Oh, you see that tail? I try to go past him one time here. You saw the tail that time? No. It's freaking huge. <laughs> Look at that one. I'm trying to find that red over there. Man, look at that one. Okay, that, there he is, right there. I can't get that far, can I? So I got a big red I've been stalking all morning on this bank. You look at that tail, look at that tail, Eric. God, you saw it? Get a spoon on him. Right by that buoy. Usually the gold spoon is uh, irresistible to him. Okay, seen the bull red tailing again. Who's gonna get him? We know he's in this area. Trout. Oh, that's a beauty. Swing him in. Oh yeah. Catch us a catch us a mess like that. Nice trout. On the ripping slash. Over here, dude. Oh, 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 you saw that? Lost him by the boat again. We started off calm and 
sunny, then it got cloudy. Now it's real windy, making the fishing tough. Got a bunch of trout, haven't boated any reds yet though. Oop, look at there. Start talking about them and they'll come. Looks like a little one. A little throwback. <laughs> See him over there? Look at that, what's he doing? You ever seen him do that? Here, look. I don't know what they was doing. There was about eight of them with their tails straight up out the water. Here we go. <laughs> they must be fishing. You saw that? Do it again on camera. Yeah. Here we go. Look. Look. They're all over the place. I don't know which ones to try to film. There we go. I could see them about a quarter mile away, about 10 of them, all flopping their tail like that. Here comes a couple more. There. Picking up fish from under him or what? He look, he just looked at me. <laughs> well, that was neat. Never know what you see. I'm trying to get in, get out of this wind, and saw all these porpoise flapping their tails on the surface. Well, we're out here trying shrimp under corks and we're not having any luck. Can't even catch a hard head right now. One of those days. The wind has just been relentless all day, killing us. Boated some nice trout this morning and I hadn't been able to find the reds today. My bait's been on so long it looks like it's cooked. You gotta know when you've been whooped. And I've been whooped today. As far as redfish go. Got a few trout this morning. Watch you dump your bait over the side and they'll come tear it up. That's Radic fishing compound. Let's see what we got in the death chest today. It was tough. The wind blew like crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We ended up with nine trout. Nine trout in the death chest. Wasn't supposed to be windy today, but man, it blew all day. Still had a good day fishing. Nine trout is great. Expectations are high here in Louisiana. The nine trout on the death chest. Till the next video, get out there and go fishing. Time to clean the boat, what fun.